Well, I'm on the far north side of the park, and this is the exit on the road that takes you out on the far north side. I heard somewhere on the news blurb that they lowered the arms to the cross, and well, you can witness that right there. They've got it where it has hinges on it, and they've got it like in a neutral position. It's I got to laugh about it. It's so funny how something like that can rear up so much people's thoughts and reasoning. And you got 5G coming to this park and all of Ozark. And people think, oh, that's a good thing. It's going to make my internet faster. Well, if you do your research, you'll find out that the 5G does not have our skin um, skin ducks uh, sweat ducks uh, DNA I've heard articles that talk about how damaging it is when they do tests and these tests haven't been done by the officiating boards of the United States government they, they test and, and make like if you come up with a system they make you uh, approve it nine times well they ain't even uh, done the short range test on 5g they have just all agreed that it's what we need to do so some agenda is pushing it and pushing it real hard while well, you got people want to talk about a cross and go up into arms about all of that <sighs> they had, yeah and the citizens of Ozark think that's a big deal. Well, you better wake your you better wake your ass up, cause this system is going to go in whether we want it to or not. Now, what does that tell you? That tells you we really got no say so. They tell you what to think. They tell you how to dress. They tell you what to go to church and why to go to church. They tell you when you get in arms up over a flag or over a cross being lit at Christmas time. But ask them, call them, call the city, call the city manager, call the mayor's office, call the county, call all of them, call the governor, ask them about 5G. Ask them why do we have to accept 5G if we know, because you don't call unless you've done your research, but once you know, then you feel free to call and you tell them that you know it hurts your cells. You know that it is not good. It unzips our DNA strands. It literally is not effective for what they say it is and what it's being designed for. It's, we could stay with the same tower system that we got and it's safe. You, do you know that one of those microcells, when it's fully charged and powered up, one of them has the same power that a tower that's 300 foot in the air. And they have to cut that tower off when a person gets up there to work on it. Well, these microcells are gonna be all over Springfield, all over Ozark, Rogersville, and they're gonna be running 24 seven and they're close together. I've already proved it, already showed you. You start looking for yourself, you'll see how close they are. Around Lambert's, the restaurant, and down that road, it's, it's everywhere. Around Rogersville, when you get to the Hardy's restaurant and the McDonald's, you'll see it's like six of them, starting down by the Sonic, go all the way around where the you know, they're building the old folks' home, come back all the way around. It's, it's setting up a... Yeah, that's what they're doing. They're setting up to give us better internet. Keep believing that bullshit. So, I'm motivated to try to wake people up about that. So I have to post evidence, and I will. I'll post the stuff I find, and you post the stuff you find. Leave comments on this video if you find a video that contradicts me, or you find a video that says that 
that, that damn boy from Mississippi is telling the truth. And let's get together on it. Shoot. I'm looking for some people that can come together and form a group. They said that the best chance of getting it thrown out of the city was the fire department. So if any of you firemen are fans and watching this video and have questions about 5G, look me up. Give me a call. Email me. BuddyHuggins at gmail.com And any of you civilians that understand what I'm saying about the fire department, let's all get together. And get us, get the chief behind us in Rogersville, get the chief behind us in Ozark, and let's go in front of the county board and the city board and let's vote to take those son of bitches down. We don't need them. We got we got to have the truth. We don't need no bullshit story that they're going to make the internet faster. That's crazy. Even if they did, they're going to charge more. We're being charged enough for cable. I have, I have, I have advocated from any of it. I pulled, off of, pulled the plug from any cable TV. I use antenna TV, and I don't even cut my TV on hardly at all. Every now and then I cut it on just to hear what KY3 is saying. <laughs> okay. Well, call KY3. Tell them to investigate it. Show them these uh, connector boxes. Tell them that uh, watch the development of them coming in. I've done walked all the way around here. Let me. Well, that's where they were working yesterday, taking up the, the power cords. So. All right, I'm back here. I'm gonna go on and cut this one off. And I don't think I'm gonna make another one. So that's three, three of me rambling. Hey, if you stayed this long, like and share, like and share. You're a real good friend of mine. And we can do some powerful things together. My mind is a terrible thing to put under the stress of 5G. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. All right. Next time. Thank you.